Hey everyone, this is Logic. Uh, welcome to the class. I just wanted to give you a quick intro to the course, let you know what it's about and what you're going to be doing over the next 16 weeks. Um, first of all, a little bit about Logic, the history of it and what it is. Uh, logic is the study of, of thinking in many different ways. We can take that uh, from a historical approach, we can take it from a uh, language approach. Uh, in this class we basically look at some introductory elements of critical thinking. We do that for a few weeks. Then we move into two different languages. Uh, languages of logic, uh, one of them being categorical logic or Aristotelian logic named after Aristotle. Therefore it's very ancient, 2300 years old. Um, most of that was developed by uh, Aristotle and his students uh, following up on some of his early work. And we get that out of um, out of what is usually called the organon. Uh, the organon is uh, Aristotle's methodological work, uh, the work that he did on um, methods of science, methods of thinking, methods of um, well, good structured uh, critical thinking. Uh, that's how we would talk about it today. That's not exactly how he would have the vocabulary that he would have used. The second language and the last module of the class, the last of our third module, is uh, called propositional logic. Propositional logic, sometimes also known as sentential logic. Uh, you'll sometimes hear terms like sentential calculus, things like that, um, or Boolean logic, forms the basis of much of our science and technology today. Uh, most of our circuitry, for example, is built on a Boolean system. Uh, you will also come across it in doing web searches. Uh, for example, when you do a Google search or any uh, search engine search, you'll be um, using, even if you don't know it, Boolean logic to do so. And, um, and there are many places where uh, that system is present in our lives. We'll be learning that language uh, through two basic tools, uh, truth tables, and proofs. Truth tables will be first and then proofs will come later. That language is a pretty straightforward one but it does require attention to detail and it really requires you to be um, good readers and uh, to digest the information well and in an organized and professional manner. Uh, both of the languages that we will study, uh, Aristotelian logic and categorical logic, um, excuse me, uh, Aristotelian and propositional logic, are a lot like learning any other language. You're going to learn a system, a system of grammar, a system of writing sentences, just like you would if you were writing French or learning French, and you're going to have to stick to that system and learn the rules and follow the rules. Um, it's, not, um, it's not a system where um, you are, well, it's a system of learning where you are rewarded for repetition and for good reading, comprehension, and listening. You'll get a few videos that you'll want to watch, some from me and some from others. Uh, you'll get a few texts, some from me and some from others. Uh, there is no textbook for you to buy at the bookstore. You just have to make sure that you keep up with the material in Blackboard, and there are three modules that you'll have to uh, look at in order to do that. I think that's it as far as a basic intro to the class. Uh, I am uh, your instructor, Fabio Escobar. I have a PhD in philosophy from the University of Buffalo. Got that in 2006. I've been teaching at ECC since 2003, uh, 2008 uh, as a full-time instructor. And uh, in 2016, I moved into administration. I still teach and love to teach. Um, and now I make my permanent home at uh, North Campus in the G Building. You'll want to come see me there if you have any questions. Um, office hours are not uh, predetermined, but I'm usually around um, Monday through Friday from 6.30 in the morning to about 6 o'clock at night. Uh, if you do want to see me, however, you're going to want to make an appointment. Uh, my schedule fills up really fast, so I can usually make time for anybody, but I need to know ahead of time that they're coming so that I can make sure that I'm there. I can usually meet you at any of our three campuses. I can also meet you off campus if you need to, uh, if you can't make it to a campus. Uh, I'm around uh, all over Western New York to an extent, so I'll run the gamut in any given week from Orchard Park all the way up to uh, the North Towns. 
And so if you need to see me, just make sure that you get in touch with me. Best way to reach me is through email, escobar at ecc.edu. Second best way is through my cell, 345-5256. Um, usually you'll get an email back within uh, minutes or at the most hours. Uh, and um, if you are uh, in need of an instant response, uh, try to get me on the cell first. I'll try to call you back as soon as I can, but email is usually even faster. If I'm in a meeting, then I can sometimes respond uh, to an email uh, right away, but I'm not probably going to pick up my phone if I'm in a meeting. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, I just wanted to give you a sense of who I am, what I do, what the class is about, how to get in touch with me and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the class. I think it's uh, actually really exciting to learn stuff like this because it shows you a little bit of the bones of our culture and our society uh, and our economy. Um, it shows you what's under the hood and, and how things work a little bit, uh, even if you've never thought about it. So I, I think it also has a great benefit in helping us think more clearly. Um, when we think of logic as the study of rigorous thinking or the study of uh, good and clear thinking, then I think uh, we're on track to getting the most out of this class um, because you can then see how it impacts our everyday lives, even outside of uh, economics and technology uh, and, uh, and the construction of knowledge. Uh, it just helps us be better people, I think at least in most contexts. Obviously there are limits to what any discipline can do, but um, if we take logic seriously, if we take critical thinking seriously, then usually it has uh, downstream impacts on most of our lives. Okay, that's it. I won't bore you with any more details right now. Uh, this is just an intro, so let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, ECC, uh, Escobar at ecc.edu or 345-5256. My name is Fabio, please call me that, and uh, we will um, we will see you online. Bye.